Paul, great to see you here at this uh, Learning Technologies Conference and Expo. Um, it's just fantastic to find another Kiwi here, and I see you've got your Kiwi there. Oh yeah, we got a, we got a mascot on the stand, so that's yeah, right. that's good. And you've been here, what, 25 years? I left New Zealand in 84, so I've been wandering the world quite a while, but uh, get back uh, to God's own sometimes. And it's very good to see that you've still got your accent, yeah. well, somewhat of it. Kiwi Some of the accents accent. left, not a lot now. <laughs> exactly. So this booklet, um, this is where we sort of piqued our interest, really, uh, the 17 essential tips for L&D people, and we thought surely of these 17, you've got a favourite three that you could share with us. Um, yeah, well, they're all favourites. I mean, how can you pick favourites amongst children? That's just not going to work. So, but if you wanted some specific things around l and I'd probably think more about what the primary purpose of l and was, which ultimately is around performance rather than learning. Yes. And so, and, and that's the thing I think a lot of l and people don't quite go for. They think they see l and or learning in their title and go for So think performance rather than learning. Yes. And if you're thinking performance rather than learning, then you'll start heading into the idea of if we're not getting the performance we want, what's getting in its way? What are the barriers? Um, now, that might be the competence of the individual, so you may have the skills or knowledge gap, so maybe training is the answer. But very often people throw training at performance problems where it may well be an environmental issue that's stopping the performance rather than Absolutely. the performer themselves. So a, a tip, and I think it's in the book there somewhere, is don't necessarily assume that uh, training equals performance. Yes. It doesn't. It, training uh, could simply equal potential, but it depends on the other interference or barriers that are in the way. So that kind of, another tip in there I think is about get clear around your diagnostics process. So if you do have a performance problem or you want to enhance performance, it's okay. You've got to start with a proper diagnostics process on why you're not quite getting what you want. Yeah, so that, that's very much um, you know, how it fits. Yes. So, I, don't, I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's a very cool uh, quadrant. Uh, it's called the Performance Analysis Quadrant yeah. on the Big Dog, Little Dog site. I don't know if you've seen that. I've not seen it, yeah, but I can good. remember. I may have. I yeah. But exactly that. Yeah. Yeah. And motivation being another issue. Like yeah. Motivation is not there. It's certainly not yeah. a training issue. So, yeah, so totally. it's one of the things I'm getting a lot of requests for now as performance consultants and how can we re-equip our L&D team so they become performance consultants as opposed to service delivery mindset. That's right. And we're looking That's forward to hopefully working with you along some of those lines. Yeah, that'd be cool. I'd love to. Absolutely. Yeah. And you've written a book on it, like one of the, the I've e-books. I've got a couple of books out there. One of them is on that whole performance consultant process. Yeah. So on this, we'll put the link on our YouTube video so people that'd can click through that. Thank you. That's good. So there's two tips. you another third one? Oh, get to know the business. Get to know the business and what they want, get to know the jargon they use, start being able to speak to the business in terms the business understands. If you go to the business speaking uh, with all the learning and development jargon, they probably will glaze over pretty quickly. So, But if you can talk to them in their terms, which by the way is performance rather than learning, then they'll start to listen. So develop value for the business by becoming a performance focused L&D person rather than a learning focused L&D person. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Well look, that's great. I know you're going on stage in an hour so let's not uh, ruin yep. your voice. And yeah, that's it. The exhibitions, they kind of hammer my voice a bit so <laughs> that's good. You can hear it. And we hope to see you down, we hope to bring you down to New Zealand sometime I'd in the next 12 months. I'd love to do that. Yeah, be cool. Come and visit your family. Alrighty. Okay, thank you. Okay.